All right, let's go girls, let's go. Every day I go out on this farm and I see something that I've never seen before. And just loving the natural world that you're a part of and help to create. I'm Jonathan Lundgren. I'm the executive director of Ecdysis Foundation and the owner and operator of Blue Dasher Farm. All right, brace yourself. Am I a great farmer? Boy, I don't know what that looks like, but I sure do encounter the exact same problems that uh, my farming friends do. And then there's another side of us. We are going to change our food system. Science is a part of the solution. In reality, the farmers are the experts at farming. The scientists are experts at science, right? But together, what we're able to do and validate and extend and um, and a scale is pretty limitless. At Ecdysis, we're free agents. We get to go where we want, when we want to. And so we're doing research on a continental scale in a way that really hasn't been tried before. We have to develop and evaluate entirely new technologies for monitoring the environment or developing relationships or measuring the impact that regenerative agriculture is having on rural communities. I was not a farmer. Growing up, I grew up in suburban Minneapolis, got a doctorate in entomology, insects. I mean, I could be the most successful scientist in the world, but all of my agricultural research wasn't changing anything. Who was I doing science for? And so I quit working at the USDA, and I started something totally different. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? So we're doing three lines this time? That is so good. Arr, arr, arr. Um, yeah, you can walk them with. Regenerative farming is growing life on farms again. There is a series or suite of practices to attain a principle. Tillage is bad. Never leave bare soil. Vegetation matters. Animals matter. <laughs> Get off of the synthetic chemicals. When we lose topsoil, we lose most of the life on Earth. We can't wait 50 years to make change. Change has to happen now. There's a real sense of urgency. As of like four years ago, I had never opened a beehive before. We have to develop and, and uh, evaluate entirely new technologies for monitoring the environment or developing relationships or measuring the impact that regenerative agriculture is having on rural communities. And so one of those things, you know, invertebrates are a really challenging thing. I had to identify over the last seven years, one million insects down to species level. We've done it all here with our entomological staff. Hey guys, what you doing? Taking pictures. Ooh. You've been doing primarily ants, haven't you? Yeah, I never get to see them this close. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Numbers talk. And we have a lot of numbers. <laughs> we get this data, we use a sweep net. We collect that data, we have to put it into a bag like this and put it in this filter. The more data we have, the, the louder our voice will be and Hopefully that gets this movement even more momentum than it has. Yeah. The data is essential. We're not gonna be able to develop policies or even decision making on farms without the data. But for changing behavior, it requires more than data. It requires trust. It requires relationships. And there's farmers that we're studying right now. You know, oh gosh, you know, this is, <laughs> It all sounds so great. You know, I'm invested in this current system. I mean, what's it gonna cost me to change? And what we tell them is that's the wrong question. What's it gonna cost you not to change? It's gonna cost you your grandkids. It's gonna cost you your farm. Is that worth it? <laughs>